Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back to another Match Day Live episode. It is Thursday night, which means the Europa League is back then for Arsenal. We are already qualified for the knockout stages, uh, so I think Unai Emery has taken quite a few of the academy players through to this um, tie. Um, it is the fifth game of the group stage, so we've still got this one and then the next one, of course, but surely we should be finishing the group stage top of the table. Uh, fingers crossed that's the way it's going to be. Obviously, Vorskla are not in FIFA 19, so we're going to have to play today's game against the MLS All-Stars, which is not too bad. Um, some decent players in the side as well, and we'll see how we get on. Uh, but like I said, it is going to be an away trip for Arsenal tonight. Um, I'm not entirely sure where we're playing, and there was even talk that they might not even be played at all um, this evening, depending on um, the other side of horse class so we'll wait and see it should be played I think it is an early evening kickoff as well I think it's around half past five UK time and uh, when it actually kicks off I could be wrong it's around that time I'm sure uh, but fingers crossed it does go ahead and everybody gets on okay and we're hoping of course Arsenal put in a good performance no matter who we actually start as I said, there are quite a few academy players going for this one. They've travelled with the squad. Um, Aubameyang and Ozil, I don't think they've travelled at all. Um, so, fingers crossed. As I said, the youngsters can shine, put in a good performance all round, show Unai Emery that they are worthy of a space in the Arsenal squad. If not, the start 11, at least in the squad at all. Uh, we're here we're going through here, looking for a second and almost getting it so let me know below guys who you think is going to win this one as it should be an easy victory for arsenal shouldn't it but it is european football shocks are always going to be happening uh, but really this should not be happening tonight should be an easy win uh, hopefully many goals as well let's like see a couple of the youngsters get on the score sheet that would be nice uh, for their confidence and of course for the squad all over uh, gives the youngsters coming through um, confidence as well Something to look up, look forward to in the coming seasons as they do progress and improve. But so far, as you can see in today's game on FIFA 19, the finesse effort there was that Lacazette. It is Alexandre Lacazette. He's starting today's game for us at least and he gets himself on the score sheet. Less than half an hour gone. It is Arsenal to the MLS All-Stars nil or Vosclar nil. It's a shame that they're not actually in the, the game, but, um, especially with the UEFA... Champion, well, the Champions League and Europa League branding you would have thought that every team that managed to qualify would be in the, the game but oh well never mind as long as Arsenal are in there I'm not too fussed at all we get to play fun teams like the MLS All-Stars and the Adidas All-Star team too and so far we are holding our own it is two goals nil to the Arsenal good save there from Peter Cech I believe that we've gone in goal I decided to put Peter Cech in there just because I think he might get the start tonight. Now, I could be wrong. Now, I was thinking about putting Danny Welbeck in as well. Because he's out injured, it's nice to at least see Danny Welbeck get some kind of action, even if he is on the sidelines currently. And so, still leading by two goals. Now we're heading into the second half now, and Arsenal need to get this one clear if we can. I'll say second half, we've been in the second half a while, but we are trying to get this one clear to try and get ourselves our first goal in this second half. Here's Smith Rowe trying to go all the way through. I've started Smith Rowe as the cam today, um, instead of Ozil, of course. And then we've got Torreira starting. He's not travelled either, I don't think, but there is a nicely um, timed finesse finish just outside the area, giving Arsenal a 3-0 lead. Less than 20 minutes gone, Lucas Torreira. Um, yeah, as I said, he's not travelled too, so he's another big name um, in the first team, which has not made the the, uh, the the journey, I should say, this time out. So he'll be fresh for the weekend. Um, we've got a big game coming up this weekend as well. That will be our next match day live episode. It is against our North London rivals, um, Tottenham Hotspur. So going to be a tough one. I think it's at Wembley Stadium as well. Um, Arsenal have fun at Wembley, so fingers crossed we can grab the three points. There. It's going to be a big three points as well. Because, of course, if Tottenham do go out and get the victory, then that is going to be um, ever-increasing the gap between ourselves and them. So, fingers crossed, Arsenal can go out, get in the, the victory. And as I said, with some of the players that which are currently out of the, the, the game tonight, we should be fresh-legged for that match. Oh, Bomiang, Lucas Torreira, Ozil should all be ready to go. Firing on all cylinders, that's the hope at least. 
Uh, but let's see. We are about to end this game. Look at this. Three goals. Nil just needing to hold on for the clean sheet. And I think that is going to be pretty much it. Leave your um, predictions below. Like I said, I will leave a vote for you to... Uh, I'll leave a poll, sorry, for you to poll, vote on in the top right corner. If you think it's going to be a win to Arsenal to Volskla. Whether it's going to be a draw. And we'll see how we get on. But the next one is going to be that Tottenham game. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you boys at the weekend for the arsenal versus tottenham one in the premier league